I don't think it takes a fool to to know why I won because uh, these people are here today. I haven't seen a strange face. Uh, this means an awful lot to me. To get the broader picture, we have Mr. Arthur Kaplan who has aided investigations of such activity as these vending machine operations, all the way from local levels up to the federal level in Washington. Mr. Kaplan, is it ever possible to actually get rid of the type of activity that the Texas Legislative Committee investigated this week? It exists partially because when you do succeed in getting uh, legislation under which you can make uh, have successful prosecutions, you will uh, then get people who are sufficiently ingenious to, to figure out new techniques of uh, achieving the same ends, that is, a, perhaps a criminal monopolistic control of an industry. Uh, this particular type of industry has been. Is there a lot of difficulty added to the problem by corruption within law enforcement agencies? It, it, it's not directly within the law enforcement agency as such, but there is enough of this uh, in terms of uh, not even direct corru corruption, but in terms of. Uh, attenuating the vigor of law enforcement or, or precluding effective law enforcement by not having it financed, and this is done through political means. And as you, you get people who are, who are in, in the political side of it who are just not going to push or, or introduce legislation or, or make appropriations. Law enforcement today is badly underfinanced compared perhaps even to things like the highway program and so, social welfare program. Mutilated uh, that voter's ballot had to be voted again by somebody who was not the voter. Uh, I have no reason to believe that anybody connected with this election in Dallas County deliberately tried to change a single person's vote. I do not believe that. But I do believe that at 2 and 3 in the morning, or even midnight, when people have gone to, the, uh, to their uh, uh, polling place at uh, 5.30 or 6 in the morning, they are very weary. And the more it was injection of the human element once again at a time that uh, could have resulted in a person's vote being changed uh, uh, from the way he cast it. And I just, uh, I think that's the kind of thing we want to try and take out of our election process. And I think it was one of the fairest run elections that I've ever seen. I think that all of the people involved uh, did a fine job. Now. With respect to the devices that were used, I, I disagree with Mr. Clark on the question of the utilization of the punch card device. Uh, I think that in his case, uh, just like anybody else, we tend to fear that which we do not understand. Uh, I think most people are a little restive about computers because obviously there are very few of us that are competent in that field. And we worry a little bit that, that adequate <coughs> safeguards, safeguards are being taken. Now. Uh, First, uh, to go to the polling place itself, and here I'll, I'll talk about the punch card device. I did not vote on it in my precinct, uh, but uh, all of the voters uh, who contacted me after the election, I think without exception, were very pleased with the punch card device.
we think that since the beer li uh, liquor beer permits are granted locally, that there ought to be some way locally to revoke them. We think that's one thing. We think that your employees and your uh, owners and managers and bartenders should all be fingerprinted and so that we know who we're dealing with at least. One of the major problems in the crime picture today is the corruption. One of the great dangers of, of organized crime is the corruption it, uh, that results uh, of government, municipal government, uh, municipal, state, federal possibly, uh, because of the, the, their need for protection and their efforts to do it. A tremendous amount of money they use to, to do it. Well, one thing is the, the lack of uh, flexibility in using the money. Uh, the money was appropriated for certain aspects of the program and due to certain complications that uh, uh, many, you might say, I would say that um, it's a situation that uh, it was felt that it could not be spent for certain things, but now we've been given a little flexibility and so therefore uh, normally this money would have gone back, but now we'll be able to use it. Can we look for any kind of flexibility of this nature in the future? I think so. I think it has to do with uh, planning, it has to do with uh, the overall objectives that we set up within this local agency. Well, the vanity machine. To turn it over to the regular 